Hello, hello, good evening, and welcome. Uh, Bill Skladowski here with another edition of iPhone Friday. Uh, thanks to all of you who, uh, you know, were prompting me to stay uh, prompt. Is that the right word? With uh, getting these videos out. Uh, so thanks to everyone, and I do appreciate it. Let me uh, navigate over to my uh, Facebook page here so I can see if there's anybody on. Well, I've got a different browser up and running. All right, we're not going to worry about that. No problem. So anyway... I uh, just wanted to say hello and thank you for joining us. And once again, it's time, I'm looking at my little computer screen down here, time to get going with another edition of Tech Help for Baby Boomers and everyone else. So as you know, yours truly um, uh, uh, teaches iPhones and Windows and computers and all kinds of technical stuff at the uh, local adult and community education program where I live here in Sarasota County, Florida. So... Lots and lots of folks with uh, iPhones out there who can make phone calls and maybe send a text, but, you know, might need some other help with stuff. So I'm taking a lot of the things that I do in class and I'm, you know, kind of bringing them to, um, you know, you folks out there in Facebook land with uh, this live series of videos. So next week, next week, fing these are fingers crossed, going to start talking about even more uh, additional topics. Uh, iPhone Friday is always going to be Friday. And then maybe we'll start doing, I don't know, Windows Wednesday or something like that. Or Taco Tuesday. It could happen. So anyway, that's what we'll be doing. So as always, I want to thank you for being here. And if you have friends or colleagues who uh, might also benefit from this, I would invite you to invite them to tune in. And uh, later on in the show, uh, we've also got a free goodie for you. So stand by for that. And if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube or on the blog, uh, we just appreciate it no matter what. Uh, your comments and questions are always welcome. Feel free to leave them right down beneath the video here. And, uh, you know, maybe it'll be a topic for a future show. But for today, I thought what we would do would be to talk a little bit about um, iPhone settings and not so much the settings part of it, but actually how you navigate around in settings. Um I think when I explain this, it'll be a little more clear to folks because, um, you know, last week, for example, we talked about notifications and how to find them and all that sort of a thing. Uh, but I kind of realized that there's a bigger issue and it's how folks actually navigate within the settings, you know, pages, because there's just oodles and oodles of pages of settings for your phone. And, uh, you know how to find your way around in things. So today, a brief, quick introduction to navigating through your phone in settings, and for that matter, everywhere else, which is, uh, you probably noticed the title of, of the video, right? So got the phone running over there. And uh, by, by the way, I just wanted to, I wanted to share, I don't know if I can show you this or not. Let me, let me try and bring up my new, my fancy new, um, my fancy new wallpaper. I just, I, I'm a little late. I, I understand I'm a little late with this, but uh Dr. Strange. I love Dr. Strange. He's just, he's like, he's my favorite unsung uh, 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 Marvel Avengers hero. You know, he had a very small part, but you know, he's still awesome. So anyway, Dr. Strange, love it. So, <laughs> and that's strange too, I know. All right, let's move ahead, shall we? So uh, jumping over to settings, wherever you find your little silver gear there, I wanted to show you something that typically when you arrive at settings, this is the page that you want to see, which is the main um, kind of front page of all the settings. And you know you're in settings when you get here because it has your name and it may even have your smiling face up. I can't reach over. It may have your name and your smiling face up at the top. It may also just have a gray, white, um, you know, little uh, silhouette, but that's okay. So either way, this is the main settings page. Now what happens is most people will be digging into something. So like they'll scroll down, they click on general, then they go down and they scroll down and they click on, I don't know, uh, uh, keyboard settings, and then they go into text replacement. And uh, now you're way, way, way down in settings. And then what do you do to get out? Well, you do what everybody else does. You push the home button and you end up going back to the home screen. Here's where the challenge starts because somebody will go back to settings by just tapping on the, you know, the gear icon, the settings icon right at the top, right? Tap. And it's like, wait a minute, I, I scroll to the top and I don't see settings anymore. I don't know where I'm at. Okay. 
So what iPhone does that's different than computers is that in an iPhone, when you close and open an app, you go, when you reopen it, you go right back to where you left off. Okay. So if I was in keyboards, like you see here, I'm in keyboards and text replacement. If I close it and then I go back and I tap on settings again, well, guess what? That's right where I come back to. So what are you going to do? Well, notice up at the top left corner there, kind of hard to point, top left corner where it says keyboards in blue with a back arrow. That's kind of a, a, a left pointing arrow there, right? That's telling you that's your navigation to get back to the previous page. And it goes one page at a time. So if I tap on keyboards, now I go back and you can see that up at the top there, it's in the center, it's on the keyboards page. But now there's another one that says general. And if I tap on that one, I go back to general. How do I know that? Because it says general right in the center of the page at the top. Right, And then at the very top left again, the last but not least, it says settings. So I tap on settings and there I am now. How do I know? Well, A, it says settings at the very top center. But if I scroll up, there we go with the big settings. Okay. So that's how you navigate around in settings or for that matter, in every other app that you may open on your phone. So in other words, if you open an app somewhere, you open up your email, you open up your, well, email is a good example. If you open up mail and you tap on a mail and you're reading an email and you hit that home button to get back to this screen, to the home screen, and then you tap on email again, guess what? You're going right back to that same email that you had open when you previously closed the program or the app or the software. I don't call it whatever you want. So today, a short lesson in navigating around in your iPhone. No matter what app you open, especially settings, because people tend to use the settings a lot and there's a lot, there's a lot of levels down, right? I mean, you can really go down the rabbit hole there by if I tap on, you know, uh, a setting like passwords and like my, you know, email, and then I want to get in and check on something else. All right, what, well, gee, how do I get out of this? Well, again, your key, your guide to this is always the blue text in the upper left corner of the screen. And again, I'm using settings because it's a popular one, but you can do it in anything. So tap again, we're back to accounts or we're back to Outlook. Tap on accounts and we go back to passwords and accounts. Tap on settings and we're back at settings. And then if you have to scroll back up to the top by doing that, you know, scroll thing that you know and love so well. So there you go. So that's a quick lesson in getting your way around, navigating your way around on your phone today. So I hope it's been helpful. If it has, please feel free to share it with uh, friends and colleagues who might find it useful. If uh, you would like, thanks for hanging around. If you would like some help with uh, learning more about your phone and especially with that, uh, you know, digital assistant Siri, you can stop by the website right there, BillSkladowski.com. That's my blog where all the videos live if you missed them when they're live. But you can stop in and I'm rebuilding the website this week. So you'll find it's got a little bit of construction going on there. Just pardon the dust and, you know, don't worry about it. But uh, when you get there, you'll find a big button to sign up for the Siri tips and tricks and I will mail them right out to you. As always, if you have questions or comments or if there's something you'd like to learn more about, uh, please feel free to leave a comment under this video. And if you'd like just me to send you the Siri tips and tricks directly, just leave a comment and ask me to send them here. If you're watching this live on Facebook, that's probably where most people will see it. So that's going to do it. So again, next week, we're going to start with some new goodies on uh, Windows and Mac computers. And then again, more iPhone Friday come Friday. Uh, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you again next week. Have a great weekend, by the way. Take care. Bye-bye.